uh, there are there's some interesting things to look at. Uh, there are some. Th I mean, for example, there was a recent study by a couple of Japanese scientists uh, uh, studying zebra finches, I think, who uh, claimed there's a couple of papers in which they claimed to have found that uh, they were able to have something like a context-free grammar. You know, that, not, of course, you know, with uh, other other kinds of noises, which would give things of the form A B B A, you know, uh, A B C A B C C B A, and so on and so forth. Well, I was kind of hoping that that would turn out to be true, because if it would, it would be quite interesting. Unfortunately, it apparently, it's false. It's the, the material's been reanalyzed by Bolhoy, Spurwick, and others, and it turns out to be just some kind of association. But if it were true, or if it could be found somewhere, that would kind of conf it was presented as if it undermines theories of UG. On the other hand, it would support them, uh, because if you th if you think about the fairy tale that I just told, it's if this was a simple mutation that yielded an unbounded combinatorial system of the simplest kind, question arises: Why doesn't it happen all the time? Well, you know, maybe it did happen all the time, even in the um, in the line that led to Homo sapiens. Maybe it happened over and over again, but it just never linked up to anything. So it died out. And if the story of the zebra finches had been correct, it might be a case where in a totally, you know, totally independent uh, evolutionary line, just convergent evolution, uh, you found this uh, same... Uh, minor change taking place, but there's no conceptual intentional system, so it didn't get anywhere. It's possible, you know. It would be nice to find evidence like that, and it's not, you know, it's it's not an unimaginable uh, investigation in comparative biology, but it's the kind of thing that I think, in a way, is kind of, sort of predicted by this evolutionary fairy tale, which again, in my opinion, is about all you can say about evolution of language. Again, that's a very minority opinion, as you know, but 